Hey everyone, this is Ross, and I have another special fig that I want to review for you guys today. This is called the Trace Displace. It's a Spanish fig coming from Montserrat Pons' collection in Spain, and Montserrat Pons is honestly the leading expert on figs in the world right now. Um, he has a huge collection of Spanish figs that he's found throughout all of Spain, and I think the Spanish government helps, um, helps his efforts out in preserving thousands of varieties of figs and this is one of them that he grows and he talks about in his book and it's a very early fig uh, and for that reason I think it's worth mentioning here in this video it's one of the few figs that ripen kind of alongside Ron de Bordeaux and alongside um, improved Celeste and Hardy Chicago um, you know it's one of the few figs that you can grow in just the worst climate imaginable um, for growing figs uh, it is, without a doubt, one of the trees that I've decided to plant here in the ground. Uh, we just put in close to 80 different varieties, or 80 different trees, I should say. And this is one of the trees we rooted this summer, as a, or this winter, as a cutting. And we planted it out this spring, and it's grown, it's grown pretty nicely. Um, you can see it's hardening up quite well, but ideally it should be even more hardened up by now. I don't know what the the hardiness on this tree is going to be. I imagine it's not going to be quite hardy, but the fact that it ripens so early is going to be a nice asset. Um, even from dieback, it should put out a lot of fruits just like this. Um, in fact, in, Spain, in Montserrat Pons' book, he describes this fig as putting out three different distinct crops. One being the first Brava crop, or the Brava crop. Then he gets the main crop, and then he gets a second main crop after that. And uh, for that, he really highly values this fig for it being so productive and being so early in the season, kind of in between Brabas and in between main, um, main crop season. So he really likes it for that, but he doesn't really care too much for the flavor. And I have a feeling, I'm gonna pick this here. The reason for that is just simply because this is a humid climate fig. There are certain figs out there with certain genetics that will only really do well in humid climates. And there's other figs that will only really do well in dry climates. And there's a big difference between growing a fig in a dry and a humid climate. I've talked at great length about that. This one seems to do well here. And I am in a humid climate, so this is definitely one that I think um, should be in a lot of people's collections here in the Northeast or even in the south, uh, southeast of the United States. Let me um, change the tripod here and I can set you guys up and we can show you guys the fig. All right. So it's a dark fig. And um, I forget what the trace of splice translates to. It's something interesting like of three crops or something like that, or maybe I'm Maybe I'm mistaken, I don't know. Um, but the point is, um, again, it's really, it really does well here. The rain resistance of the skin is nice. Um, it does tend to split, it can tend to split, but because it ripens so early here, I don't really have that problem. Um, in fact, it ripens so early that most of the rain doesn't really come at that time of the year. Uh, which is a really nice asset. So I'm not really too concerned with the split resistance on this. If it's in the ground, of course, it's going to ripen sometime around now, probably mid-August to early September is, you know, the, the very early varieties that ripen here. Maybe I can get some of these to ripen by August 1st. I think that's uh, likely in years from now. But this is a pretty nice quality fig from something that was grown from a cutting just like seven months ago or something like that. Uh, this is honestly going to be something very tasty. Um, in my opinion, it has a nice complex berry flavor. You can see it right in there. I'm going to put you guys, I'm going to show you guys a nice view of this. That way we can get a nice photo anyway of the, uh, of the fig. But this is what this guy looks like here. Beautiful on the inside. Looks very jammy, very juicy. It seems like there's a quite a bit of honey in there. It's a beautiful fig, inside and out. 
All right, so let's taste it now. We've had some also, by the way, I have a, a, a larger tree that I took cuttings from uh, this winter or this past fall. And um, that tree did pretty well, but it didn't really respond too well to the harsh pruning I gave it. It didn't really get off to a great head start this year. It didn't grow all that much. It did put out a lot of fruit um, and it performed well for a tree that honestly got a pretty bad beating. Um, so let's try this now. It's quite good. It's actually really good. Very sweet, nice complex berry flavor. I kind of find this fig to be similar to RDB, but sometimes even better than RDB, sometimes worse. Um, it depends on your Ronde Bordeaux and how, how far along you can get them to ripen. So I've had some Ronde Bordeaux where I've been able to really let them dry on the tree and they've turned out phenomenal. Whereas this fig, I've let this one also dry up on the tree. Last year we did a video on this and it didn't really wow me uh, like a Ronde Bordeaux can. So this one, you can pick it early, you can pick it now, you can pick it um, even a little bit later when it starts to dry and it's still gonna be good at all, all stages for the most part. Um, I would say this is actually a 3.5, maybe a, even approaching a four. I was really impressed by this. It's quite a good fig. I know my friend Maddie loves this. Uh, he was the one who got me this fig. Definitely shout out to Maddie here. Um, yeah, so I think if you guys want to grow this one in a shorter season climate, even a place with a little bit of rain in the summer, I think this is okay. Um, so for me, it's a keeper. Again, we put one in the ground and I should have cuttings, you know, in future years. I'm not gonna really cut much off of that in-ground tree or even from my my 10 gallon size potted tree but uh, definitely in the future guys if you you want this variety it should become available it's becoming more available to people in the fig community um, every day so all right everyone thank you guys so much for watching this we'll talk to you all soon and uh, take care